Hi Definers, Ashley here and welcome to your beginner arm series. Yes, it's beginner, but we're gonna sizzle. What you need is a heavy set of weights. 2.5 kg would be fabulous. I'm also gonna use a playground ball. Uh, if you don't have that at home, please grab a cushion from the couch. It's just gonna help you with alignment later on in this workout. Just to start off though, we're gonna step out nice and wide. Roll the shoulders down from the ears, bend the knees, Reach your arms up to the side. Start a little pulse up with the arms. Lift, lift. Ah, I want you to settle in. You're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> lift, squeeze, pull it up, up. So you're just gonna use your own body weight, your own connection to you and your breath and the movement right now. Pull, lift, pull, lift, up. Lifting up through the abs here, even though the arms are doing a lot of work right now, right? They're starting, to, they're starting to wake up, feel something. Your lower body is holding you, supporting you, especially up through the abdominal wall. So connect to it in four, three, we're gonna start to circle the arms up and around. Ooh, starting to feel a little toasty up into the shoulders through the deltoids. Notice if your ribs, if you're starting to arch the back and flare the ribs, don't allow it to happen. You want the front of the body to just simply draw down. Pull around, pull around for four, three. We're gonna reverse this circle. Let's go up and around, dig, dig. Now, gravity's gonna start to push you down. Don't let it happen. Keep those arms up nice and high here. Go pull it around, pull it around. Go dig, go press in four, Three, we're gonna do a little under over with the arms. Let's go under, over, under, over. Woo! Go press, 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 press. Bring those arms forward to me. Take it back to the side. Bring it towards me. That's it, take it out to the side. Go forward and side. Last one, keep those arms forward. Palms flip to face the ceiling. Pull it in, extend. Pull it in, extend. Have you locked your legs out? Have you noticed that? Bend your knees, feel rooted down into the floor right now. We go in, out, five, out, four, yes. Out, three, out, two, hold it out on one. Little lift, little lift. Checklist on your body right now. Have you gone here? The answer is no. Scoop, tuck, lift, grow. Tummy tight, bend your knees. You have 10 more, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, whoo. Are you warm? I mean, I, I feel warm and empowered right now. What I want you to do is grab your Pilates playground ball or a cushion from the couch. I want you to place it between the thighs or between your knees if you need a little extra love there. And then you're gonna pick up your hand weights. So, feet rooted directly underneath your hip bones. Roll the shoulders. Again, bend the knees. Bring the hand weights out to the side. Now dig your hand weights, your elbows, into the side of your waistline. That's your anchor. Yep, we're gonna start with that right arm. It's gonna go into a bicep curl. Up, drop, lift, drop. Squeeze, control down. Energy up, energy down. So you're wondering, why is she making me put a ball or a cushion between the legs? It's to stabilize your posture. It's to make you present, rooted in the position. And this way, you're not going like this. You're not kind of like moving around the room on your cell phone. You're here, you're present. You're committed in the motion right now. We got four more. Breathe three. You got two. We're gonna take this over to that left arm. Go lift, control it down. Squeeze, lower. Energy up, energy down, energy up. So you got that nice isometric hold with that right arm with the hand weight. Go lift, so it's working. Yeah, right side is also working here. Squeeze, lower. Squeeze in on the cushion or that playground ball between the thighs here. We got four more, breathe. Three, you've got two, one, hold. Flip the palms to face me. We're gonna alternate right and lift left. We're gonna take it slow to start. Slow to start. Deep inhale, exhale. Notice I've started to take my elbows away from my waistline. I'm getting a little bit brave. Yeah, I took away my kickstand, if you will. If you find that that is too much, 
you simply dig the elbows back into the waistline. It's there for you. Pull, drop, pull, drop. If you're feeling like you need a little bit more right now, we're gonna start to make this faster, yeah? And then maybe we go to a longer range. Connect to it, see what feels right, what feels challenging. Sometimes the right is scary. <laughs> it's okay. Be okay with getting uncomfortable, uncomfortable shaking. You're in your home right now. Or maybe you're tuning in from a fabulous hotel and you've got a beautiful view. Take that in while you're empowering your body and doing these bicep curls. Start to bring that shape forward for me, yeah? Now, I'm gonna give you a little side view from me while I keep on moving these arms. I'm gonna take my body weight and I'm gonna kind of shift it forward towards my toes. If you can look at my feet right now, my heels become light. So I'm not going down into my heels and going backwards into the back. I'm lifting, I'm engaging through the front of the body and elongating through the back of the body. My feet still underneath my hips, knees soft. Four, three, two, meet me right in the middle. Flip your palms to face the ceiling. We're gonna lift out, 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 out. A little squeeze, squeeze, dig it out, dig it out. From here, I'm gonna start to incline my body even further forward. Go push, push. Those arms extend further out. Extension through the back. Pull the core in tighter, squeeze. Yes, we go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift up, roll the shoulders. We're gonna go back to that incline position. Bend the knees. Incline, bring the hand weights up to the waist. Elbows squeeze back. Now the palms are gonna face in this time. You're gonna take the right arm first. It's going to extend forward. We're gonna lift up to the side. Draw, control it down. Pull it back in, right side only. We take it forward. We open, we control, we pull it back. That's it, go forward. We open, we drop. We pull it back. One more slow, forward, open. If this pace is good for you, you stay here. If not, we're gonna do a little speed up. Now, don't lose the form in your lower body. Feet still rooted underneath you. Core in tight, we go for four, three, for two, oh, I'm feeling something, one. Hold it back, reset, roll. Left arm, forward, open, drop, in, forward, open, drop, squeeze. Ooh. Inhale, exhale here, go forward, open, and press. Four, three, we make it a little brighter, a little faster if you can. Stay with it. Even if you have to go slower, that is fine. Perhaps you're having that day that just simply needs to move the arms without the hand weights. Drop the hand weights, that's okay. I'm simply happy you press play. Forward, open, pull back, forward, open, pull back, four. You've got this, three. Yes, two, one. Woo. Reset, roll the shoulders down. From here, we're gonna go back to weights up right to the side. I'm gonna get face you right now. From this position, I'm gonna bend my knees. I'm gonna incline the body. Now my right arm is gonna kick back behind me. Back and in, back and in. So it's a tricep kickback on that right arm. Out, in, out, in, out four. Out three, stop that weight at your hip. Out two, hold it back on one, palm to the ceiling. Little push up, 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 squeeze. So don't let gravity push you down right now. Lift up a little higher right here. We go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift up, roll your shoulders. Staying with that right arm, you're going to go lift, little shoulder press. Drop down, lift, shoulder press, drop down. Just that right arm, right arm magic right now. Yeah, lift, squeeze, and down. Notice how my right elbow does not go any higher than that right shoulder. Lift, squeeze, and 
and down. Four more. Go lift up four and down. Don't let that weight go back into your heels. Slightly bring it forward towards your toes. Lift, push. Now on your last one, this is your last one. You're going to hold it at the top. Little push, little push. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reset. Roll the shoulders. Weights up to the waistline. Incline the body forward, left arm back and in. So you're right into that tricep kickback on the left side, back, in. Connect with your stance again. That's why the cushion, the playground ball is there for you to connect to it. Out, in, little side view from me. There you go, out. Notice how my elbow is trying to reach higher each time to the ceiling. Yeah, we're working right into that tricep. Glorious tricep. There's a reason why Justin Timberlake wrote that song, Sexy Back. I'm giving you a sexy back right now. Yeah, go out, you go in, you take it out, you take it in, go back four, you go back three, abs in tighter, go back two, hold it back on one, palm to the ceiling, little lift, up, up. We fight for the magic in the body right now. Yeah, we fight for it. It is a burn, it is a shake, it is worth it. Stay with it, give me eight more. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Roll up, sit tall, bend the knees. Left arm is gonna go lift, frame your face, drop it down. Lift, frame your face, and drop. So perhaps in this position you found you were really overloaded today and you need to drop the weight. Okay, that's where you are. Taking in your body daily how it's feeling, pressing play to move it to inspire it is a great thing, even if it's restorative, yeah? So you can always grab a stretch, more of a low impact on the body. And then when you're ready for it, yeah. Press play on something a bit more challenging. Yeah, you go lift, we got up four. Don't worry, I didn't forget about it. Go lift up three. Squeeze the abs in tighter, go lift up two. Last one, you're gonna hold it to frame your face. Squeeze, little lift, little lift. Don't go away from it. Lift your body up towards it. You got eight more here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower, roll the shoulders, flip the palms to the ceiling, open the chest, halfway we're gonna go to the waistline, drop to the thighs, waistline, drop to the thighs, up, down. Now, I want you to keep this low range motion. You're gonna lift your right heel high, boom. Ooh, I like it. Four, three, you're gonna switch to the other side. That's it. Hi feet, they love you. They, they support you all day long. We should give them love, right? Now we're gonna switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. Flatten the feet, hold halfway. From here, heels lift, they drop. Why am I putting this at the end of this workout? It's a challenge, it's an added layer. So you're holding in the arms, you're holding in your abs, you're engaging your lower body. How did this turn into a full body workout? You're welcome. I'm not gonna waste your time. We're getting into it. Find your balance, hold. Bend your knees a little lower. Take your arms, take that little pulse here. Go press, press. If you only knew what I was feeling on the inside right now, it is like I'm holding on for dear life. Go press. Squeeze your final. 10, nine, look at that. Eight, I dropped my heels. I'm gonna get right back into it. There I am for five, four, three, two, woo, I'm out. Job well done, my beautiful definers. I hope your upper body feels empowered and pumped up. If you have time for more, press play on another workout.